Aloha, beautiful global galactic cosmic celestial family on the planet. Bliss here to share another love stream all about the breath. So we have been having miraculous experiences. We've been doing a lot of posts recently on these Facebook page and these Instagram pages on everything that is coming in through the consciousness of the whales and dolphins. And so when we bliss walk the grid lines on the planet, carrying the star knowledge bundles for the Lakota Dakota brought through by Chief Golden Light Eagle and Grandma Silver Star and Chief Blue Star, these ancient Reiki symbols of universal laws of peace and relations and relating with all life. When we carried those bundles around the planet for the Lakota Dakota for many years on the grid lines, one of the things that it says at the front of the star knowledge bundles is dolphins, whales, and star nations speak in symbolic language. And so We Bliss was very deeply guided by the cetaceans songs and sounds and vocalizations all over the planet to work the grids on the planetary body of what used to be called the Earth. We call Gaia Sophia and we actually prefer to call her Oceana as a dolphin that we are. And we are joyous to continue to share the codes with our family about the breath so that the family has the understanding of the transformation and transfiguration that is upon us because the linear mind cannot really understand what is going on. So we're going to share about some holographic principles here so that uh, we pod, we cosmic pod on the planet can get more centered inside of ourselves as we continue to go through this cosmic phase shift, which is the dissolution of the small self. Thank you, Brother Richard Rudd, for bringing through the gene keys to show all of us who we are not. Because the light just went funny here. Um, well, I went super cosmic. Okay, well, we'll leave it super cosmic. So it does, okay, there we go. Um, so, when we, <laughs> so funny when we pulled out this book, how the light went super cosmic. So, what Richard Rudd did with the Gene Keys was he opened the seven sacred seals of the heart, and the seven sacred seals of the heart literally represents the unlocking of the conscious awareness from the duality roles that we have been in. And here, we're just gonna turn the screen up a little bit. Um, so, because everyone is in their own personal stage of dismantling and of receiving new cosmic awareness, cosmic consciousness, cosmic energy coming in, the best place to be is right here in zero point in stillness inside of the self. Coherence is key. And so what we always share with people, and if you think this love stream is inspiring, please share it right now while we're live. That's called gifting. Okay, so we're going to weave a lot of pieces in today's love stream. First of all, coherence is key. So what does coherence mean at the level of the individual person? Coherence means we have two hemispheres of the brain. And coherence is when both hemispheres of the brain are operating as one brain. So we've talked about this many miracles before, as have many people as well, but we're synthesizing many pieces here so that the family can make a huge cosmic leap out, even though astrology isn't real and doesn't exist. If it did, Mercury, Mars would be going retrograde today, which means that the old masculine patriarchal energy that has covertly bound the consciousness to patterns of 
imbalance inside of the self. Mars in retro means Mars, that energy is backing off. So we have the opportunity to rebalance and recalibrate to the wholeness of the self by bringing in fully into every single cell the feminine aspect of the Christos, the Christ consciousness, not just the masculine who was bound to the cross of time and gravity. Uh, so we had to unlock that aspect of ourself and now we're embodying fully by bringing back in the feminine Christos or the feminine consciousness of the right brain so that we can merge the left and right inside of the self. Now, the easiest way to do that, as we've shared many miracles before, is to cross one's wrists, clasp one's hands, cross one's ankles, close one's eyes and deep breathe until we experience a mental, emotional, or physical shift and then open our eyes and do a lock-in of that energy. Now, this process was first taught to me through a process called Psych-K that was brought through by my very dear friend and Lemurian father, Rob Williams, who was the man who brought through the teachings of Psyche. And today we are guided to weave that part into this as well. So at the bottom of the description box, we have put in links of interviews with Rob speaking about the origins of Psyche, the principles of Psyche, the principles of nature aligning with nature. and why coherence, meaning the balancing of the hemispheres of the brain, brings us back into alignment with the cosmic essence of the self beyond this little guy role that we have been playing in a dualistic play that is not the truth of the self. So when we do those crossovers, as we've shared many miracles before, if this love stream is inspiring, please share it. That's called gifting because we're going back to the basics here. Because the mind of the human will constantly spin out in the fictional fiction down this rabbit hole and down that rabbit hole and down this problem and trying to resolve that thing and so on and so on. And as things continue to dissolve at the level of the old creation as we knew it, any aspect of our conscious awareness that still believes that it is the personality self has the potential to go down those rabbit holes and be pulled back into the chaos. And when we know how to hold coherence inside of ourselves, just like when someone is training their dog to listen and not run off in the dog park and attack another dog or, or run into the forest and disappear. We are the same minders of our own personal energy here. So coherence is key. This love stream is inspiring. Please share it right now. Let's call gifting. We are the same minders of our own personal energy. And so as everything that we thought we were is dissolving away and spinning off, when we have the capacity for coherence, we can hold neutrality as all of those old patterned behaviors imprinted at the level of the solar plexus, which is where the personality emanates from, can dissolve in the waters of our body and all those old parts of the self just spiral off. And the next step forward for those who want to take the shortcut, which is the 35th gene, is to come into alignment with the breath. And that's why we bliss are suggesting that people go to the 20 miracle minute breath play that we included in the, as a link in the description box from Take a Deep Breath, uh, a YouTube channel that we really appreciate the simplicity of the lymphatic breath that has been created there. 
And we shared about the breath in another love stream recently, and we're sharing again as we continue to build out the new matrix of information around us so that we have new handholds inside of ourselves, so that we're not falling back on what we knew and going back again and again to try and figure that out. And that's not meant to be figured out. What is dissolving the way is not meant to be figured out. So when one has the awareness of the new handholds, one can begin to shift the awareness inside of the self to the building of, to the connection to the new consciousness that is already around us. We just may not see it or perceive it with our senses. Uh, the eyes have a very limited spectrum of uh, light capacity that they read and so on. And so we are going back to the basics right now for anyone who wants to follow We Bliss and take this shortcut called the Cosmic Leap out of the DNA that is unraveling and dismantling and the whole story that went with it. So we're sharing this in a very simplistic way so everyone can get it and everyone can choose and everyone can start to play and we're articulating it in a way that each one of we has a clear understanding of the step by meticulous step process that is being offered to we bliss to light up our dynamite bodies so go back to the lymphatic breath as we shared in the previous love stream when we do the 20 miracle minute lymphatic breath, breathe in for four seconds, hold for 16 seconds, breathe out for eight. Everything in anything in our awareness that is a current distraction will most definitely come up within the first few breath cycles. And those old patterns will want us to run away from this very simple process with the breath. So once we have the awareness, just like we have the awareness of the dog that's running away off into the dog park, this is where instead of training the dog how to mind its energy, we're training ourselves to mind our energy, to draw our energy back again and again and again and just focus on the simple, repetitive process of that four second, 16 second, eight second breath. We're sharing this for anyone that wants to keep cosmic leaping with me in a way because everything that's coming in, which is we're getting our baseline here together. We're sharing the foundation here together because we Bliss has been offered many, many more steps in this, and right now we're going through a complete and total clearing of Wee's pineal and everything in the circuitry of the head. Because the nine arc Merkaba, which connects us to our supernatural capacities, is activating in the head. We're just giving a little carrot dangling for what's out ahead. But to get there, we don't want to, as the expression says, put the cart before the horse. So anyone who is interested in leaping out of this old play, this old dissolving, dying duality play that is programmed inside of the personality and the consciousness of everyone who has been programmed with that in the play. Not everyone on the planet has. The Kalahari Bush people and the others never got programmed with the dualistic play. Many uh, original root peoples remained connected to unity consciousness on the planet, connected with the consciousness of nature herself. So for humans in the Western world who want to make the leap to realign their consciousness with the communication systems of nature herself, which puts us back into alignment with our supernatural capacities to move in and out of physicality at will, and so on and so on. 
So if this live stream is inspiring, please share it. That's called gifting. Okay. So the lymphatic breath will bring up everything to our awareness that is in resistance right now, that is screaming in our right ear or left ear and telling us what we have to go do that we don't have time to do the lymphatic breath work. And those very programs, those very beliefs, those very statements that we're hearing in our head are the very thing that keep one bound to the dualistic play of chaos that is dissolving and dying out. So you get to choose. What do you want to be a part of? Do you want to be in the field of the new consciousness riding the supernatural cosmic wave of consciousness that is flooding our bodies with light and energy and awareness, no external substance required? Or do you want to be part of the old dead dying traps, entrapment of the ego and the dualistic play? So coherence is key and the simplest way again to do that, cross ankles, cross wrists, clasp hands, close eyes, deep breathe until we feel a shift. Step one. Step two, either sit up or recline and follow the 20 miracle minute lymphatic breath that is linked in the description box here. And do it at least three miracle times a day because things are, the river is flowing fast. And what we begin to discover if we don't have 20 minutes times three, which only equals 60 miracle minutes in time, if we don't have that much time to, to, to vote to coherence inside of the self, we are not consciously ready to make the leap because this is all about where we place our focus and our awareness. And that's why we are describing and articulating this in a very simplistic, clear way so that our human family has more conscious awareness because the mind loves the cognitive understanding of why we would do these things. And that's why we're describing this in a very simplistic way. The 20 miracle minute lymphatic breath slows the autonomic nervous system down, which is an absolute requirement to enter into the supernatural mystic realms. The nervous system, the autonomic nervous system of most humans has been on reptilian brain, survival, uh, adrenaline overload, um, impulse, fear base. So it's not difficult to make this shift now to literally place ourselves on the cosmic wave, to get off the dualistic wave and get on the cosmic wave. This is a wormhole that we are sharing through the 3015 of the shortcut of how to make the shift instantly from the dualistic wave to the cosmic unity consciousness wave. Like we say, it's not difficult. It's very simplistic. Some people may find when they do the 20 miracle minute lymphatic breath, it's very difficult to remain still and remain focused for simple short 20 miracle minutes focused on four seconds of breath in, 16 seconds of hold, eight seconds release. And yet one can be on the phone for hours upon hours in time. Again, we make the choice. This is just providing a wormhole for those who wanna take the shortcut out of the dualistic consciousness of the chaos of the dissolution of the old realms. Okay, so holographic nature of reality or the holographic nature of creation. How can there be so many things going on and how does one decide what is resonant inside of themselves? What is resonant for our way, our choice? If we look this way, we may get distracted and pull down that wormhole. If we look that way, maybe that way. If we go to our families for dinner, there may be a million different conversations and realities playing out at the dinner table. And that is because of the holographic nature of 
reality of creation. So we're going to articulate this in a very simplistic way. Everyone is a little walking transistor radio with an antenna coming out of our head. These are metaphors to understand how different people are experiencing reality so differently. How can two people grow up in the same family and one person says the father was wonderful and the other one says the father was bad? How can several people be at the witness an event and everyone has a completely different ex expression or experience of what happened, different perception? because it is how that little transistor radio called us through our awareness and our perception is tuned into the field. All of the traditions have told us stillness, zero point, coherence, peace within, beyond the mind. All of that is about reclaiming our pure source consciousness, our pure awareness. And when we have that pure awareness, we can observe all the different radio stations that all the different little transistor radios are tuned into. And simultaneously, we do not have to tune into any of the radio stations that the other transistor radios are tuned into. The other transistor radios represent all of the people in our experience, in our lives, in our creations, the world around us. Because what happened in the fictional fiction to me and you is we would be attracted to something or someone and then we would start to tune in and we then veer away from our own coherence if we get pulled or drawn in. So. All self-mastery is about finding that still point within so that we can enjoy witnessing all the different radio stations. We can enjoy and have the privilege and honor to see what all the different transistor, transistor radios are tuned into without having to tune in. And then we're in a place of choiceless awareness. That's one of the words that Richard uses for the 40th gene. So that is really what it is to be at oneness with our divinity. And as we come into that state of oneness with our divinity, much more expanded awareness comes in that continues to guide us into the inner technology in these bodies. And the inner technology is held primarily within the mitochondria. That is the cosmic essence, the cosmic DNA. So when we do the lymphatic breath, 20 miracle minute breath, three miracle times a day, we're just, time isn't real and doesn't exist. We're just creating simple structures for magic to flow. Simple structures for magic to flow is what Richard talks about in the 60th gene. The 60th gene is about structure. So we're offering some simple structures for our human family to focus their awareness into if they're not certain of where to go. Because when the house of cards is burning and the house of cards has fallen down, one might be familiar with those old handholds those old watering holes, those old relations, those old relationships, those old things, and not yet have a sense of where to go. So we are offering our human family a sense of where to go. Go to the spa of breath within. That is the place to go. Because once we find coherence through our crossovers and we come into a whole brain state where both of these beautiful hemispheres unify by the corpus callosum in the middle of the head and the brain begins to function as a whole brain state, which is a key phrase that Rob Williams and Jeff Fannin brought through in brain mapping humans using 
tools and techniques from the process called psyche and brain mapping and discovery that the brain can go very quickly into a whole brain state. And once we're in a whole brain state, we have coherence at center, we found that still point, and then it is our capacity to build that muscle and sustain that whole brain state. Again, this is all choice through providing powerful articulation for the family to go, you mean all that stuff outside of me is a distraction? I don't have to participate in, but what if? Does that mean I'm, I'm giving my consent by not getting involved in another fight, another battle? No, we're not giving our consent. What we're doing through coherence is giving our consent back to source. Big difference. We're giving our consent back to source and source is much more powerful to come in and transform the external in totality in the blink of an eye, which as we always share about in the 60th gene by our beloved brother, Richard Rudd. The earthship or Kaaba will crack and life will transform in the blink of an eye. So, the dolphins and the whales are guiding us to go into this lymphatic breath and as a practice of our cosmic essence, people would call it a spiritual practice, just take it upon ourselves to go within this 20 miracle breath three times, miracle times a day and discover what starts to happen inside of us when we find coherence, when we tell all those programs to slow, when we go, no, I don't have to get up and eat. No, I don't have to get up and make the phone call. I am focused on a consistent practice of this 20 miracle minute lymphatic breath three times a day to take my power back and still my autonomic nervous system and my physical body in such a way that I can release all those covert patterns that were distracting me back into duality in ways that I didn't understand why I kept taking the bait. It's only because patterns that play out in the waters of our body that keep taking us away from that center point, the still point, the coherence. So now we're into our lymphatic breath, three miracle times a day. And there's a word, well, reason we use the word miracle to refer to time, but we won't go into that right now. So the lymphatic breath, time isn't real and doesn't exist, but if it did, for those who are still exiting the matrix of the mind, the matrix of time, Three miracle times a day of the 20 miracle minute lymphatic breath begins to dissolve the connection to time. So if we went into the decode of these genes, the 35th gene and the 5th gene are the arc of the infinite. Boundlessness and timelessness. And the 5th gene, which has access to the entire library, of mitochondrial DNA inside our cosmic akash can only be accessed when the breath comes back into alignment with the cosmos itself. And that is where information begins to flood our awareness of a quotation marks higher consciousness, a new consciousness information begins to come in that fast tracks one's way out of all the problems of the mind that the mind cannot resolve. That's why Einstein said, mind cannot resolve the problem inside of the same thinking that created it. So when we develop a grounded spiritual practice regularly with the breath more than once a day, we begin to align our physical body with the structure of creation. 
and we take our physical body away from the old electromagnetic codependent dynamics of the duality field. We come into alignment at all levels of our being with unity consciousness. And that's where information floods our awareness in such a way that the mind never would have even accessed the things that are coming through because it's not linear consciousness from the mitochondria that comes through. The holographic nature of creation is not linear. The holographic nature of creation all stems from the observer perspective. The observer perspective is the present moment beyond gravity, beyond time. And that's how everything can shift in the blink of an eye. And so guaranteed, each one of us has all the answers inside. And this is how to begin to access them, which transforms our awareness, which then transforms our physicality, which then transforms the adamantine particles of reality, all simultaneously in the blink of an eye. The linear way out of this creation is a long evolutionary spiral staircase in time. So what we have shared here today is how to align with the shortcuts, with the wormholes, with the cosmic leaps in consciousness that are much more powerful to transform all of creation and all of physicality in the blink of an eye. In, in sci-fi movies, it always required some kind of technology outside of the self, some spaceship, some time travel thing. But that was only a metaphor and a reflection for the technology inside of the self, the 35th gene, the shadow is hunger. And to rebalance that craving of something fulfilling the void inside by chasing things out of sight of the self, including technology and making technology and creating more things outside of the self, is to turn the focus inward. Where all of the technology that we've ever seen in the physical realms outside of the self came from someone accessing the cosmic akash through the mitochondria, the cosmic technology itself, everything in the physical reality that has been created by humans or thought or other beings has been by mimicking the original codices of the cosmic akash. So, the lymphatic breath and the coherence will align one's little antenna as a transistor radio to a gamma state of consciousness. The gamma state is where we access all that cosmic energy and information because our perception in the gamma state is that we are all of it and none of it simultaneously. It's called omnipotent, omniscient. And we have experienced that many miracle times in many miracle ways. To articulate this in a simplistic, cognitive way so that our human family can make a choice and go, okay, I get it. I really get what Bliss is saying. And when I do, Coherence is key, bring my hemispheres into a whole brain state and just start doing that lymphatic breath, 20 miracle minute breath or longer, three miracles or more times per day. Something mystical is going to happen when I have consistency. Bruce Lee didn't become Bruce Lee from being inconsistent or half-hearted. Bruce Lee went all the way. 
So each one of us has the simple opportunity to understand these mechanics and take this all away. The lymphatic breath and the whole brain state realigns us with nature itself. This is all these codes and there's so much more to share. And like we say right now from what we are receiving from the dolphins and whales, we's entire pineal is going through a complete clearing and opening and cleansing. And not just the pineal itself. We bliss has been activated in Wee's Nine Arc Merkaba since in linear time, May of 2015. And so these are the technological requirements to support us to activate the diamond light in our DNA and it is essential to follow the principle step by meticulous step to create the foundation that when we take we pod into the higher steps of activation that are coming in the circuitry of the body the nervous system is relaxed and ready to receive all that cosmic energy because if we put the cart before the he the, the cart before the horse if we try to leap ahead with these coordinates coming through it fries the human circuitry and we started to share more of what was coming through with the inner sanctum pod that follows all these transmissions with we and we could see we had to back up because we could see the effects that it was having on the human psyche it was too much energy coming in to the physical body that was not yet prepared aloha Phila. that was not yet relaxed and prepared to receive this cosmic energy. And that's why we are sharing these love streams to inspire and invite our human family to get prepared by doing this 20 miracle minute lymphatic breath in the description box at least three miracle times a day, every day consistently, so that we as human family can keep tracking with we when we start to share the next meticulous step, the next meticulous step that the dolphins are bringing in. That's why in the description box, we linked a photo that we placed today on Facebook and Instagram. It's just a screenshot from a video we filmed of the dolphins last week. It's not altered in any way. It's what the dolphins look like when they are breathing their macrocosmic breath. And that's what this is realigning us with, is our macrocosmic breath. When we're realigned with our macrocosmic breath, beyond our identification with an egoic consciousness that is in dissolution with an old dissolving play, our nervous system and our neural networks are not yet worked out, warmed up, prepared to receive the cosmic energy in miraculous ways. In 2015, the dolphins called we to Big Island to swim with them for three weeks. And one miracle day, one dolphin swam right up and tapped we on the forehead and looked me in the eyes and said, we are reactivating your sonar again. So, and we will begin to train you to work with color, light, and sound again. The next day, we just happened to do a selfie. The guy said, do a selfie right now. And we'll post that selfie in the description box or in, in the um, comments. We did the selfie. We didn't alter this selfie at all. It looks animated. And there was just the dolphins the day they activated we sonar showed we this rainbow coming out of we's head and the next day when we did the selfie there was a rainbow coming out of we's head so these benevolent beings are holding 
an expanded consciousness for all of we to step into and we bliss is being inspired to assist to usher those of us in our human cosmic family that relate with the cetacean nation because we are one in the same and that's why in the front of the star knowledge bundles that we carry for the Lakota Dakota it says whales dolphins and star nations communicate in symbolic language and that's what this is Final piece in the description box, we put the links to Site K and Rob Williams and Bruce Lipton, who are very good friends. And as we share Rob Williams on Wee's journey, very important person in Wee's life, Wee's Lemurian dad. And when we and Rob and his beloved wife, Ray's came back together in this life, we held many special pieces for the union of the eagle and the condor and the planet, which is the left and right hemispheres of the planetary brain. And we just want to honor in this moment our beloved friend and cohort and mentor and one of the truly most special people in Wee's life is Rob Williams because Rob Williams never had to be the big guy on the stage. Rob simply brought us back to brain coherence humbly by synthesizing many processes that he had received. And he never placed himself as a middleman between us and our access to the cosmic energy. He has held Psyche with integrity, quietly, stewarding that energy. And his video on aligning with the principles of nature and what is happening for us right now is absolutely key because as we shared in the previous love stream, on breath, the super abundance has nothing to do with money, has nothing to do with crypto, has nothing to do with Bitcoin. Super abundance, as is shared by our beloved brother Richard Rudd in the Gene Keys, is the unlocking of the consciousness from two strand DNA and this play. On Wee's journey, we were, in the fictional fiction, we were taken into many realms that involved money. And we believed that all the versions of we self in these realms were gonna do good things with money to help the planetary body. And when we first got taken into those realms, we called Wee's beloved, friend Rob Williams and he we shared with him what was going on and he said simply unity it has never been about a lack of money it's been about the lack of connection to source that is true super abundance this love stream articulates how to get there in a very simplistic way Yes, there's pranayama breathing. Yes, there's all kinds of techniques. The guidance is going, don't bother. We are offering a step by meticulous step way, which is a direct shortcut to our cosmic consciousness to access our own mitochondrial DNA and bring through the revelations of the unlocking of the diamond light body, the nine arc Merkaba easefully, naturally. And it comes in in a way that must honor the capacity of our physical bodies to continue to transform and keep up with the change, which requires consistency of these processes, these practices. 
not getting pulled back into distraction and all those old things of the old game. To truly understand, even though time isn't real and planets aren't real if they were on this Mars retrograde for the next five months until March of 2023, we are articulating this in a way to our human family to say, this is a this is a wormhole. It is a choice point, miraculous, supernatural, mystic wormhole to redirect in totality our awareness away from the distractions, away from the old game, and reorient our awareness. We didn't have to sit in a cave in Tibet our whole life to do this. We're saying anyone can do this now. And we are sharing cognitively so the mind can understand simplistically why we would make these choices now to align with the cosmic consciousness, unity consciousness, the cosmic wave. the surrendering to the divine will within us. And this is an artic articulation to understand what that is, what it looks like, what it sounds like, how to do it. One final piece we will share is that when we were guided, being guided through a massive transfigurative process in Wu's body in 2018 as a miracle coordinate in time, Wu's body would just get so hot and we would say, what is this? And guidance would say, because your mind is on overdrive and you cannot do that anymore. Because you're drawing in cosmic energy and it is frying your circuitry. You need to know how to align with the cosmic energy and leave the mind behind. The 35th gene, which is the shortcut, is the dissolution of the mind itself. The dualistic mind, the egoic mind. So the guidance would say to we when it would just like circuits would go overheating and his body would get so hot people couldn't touch his body it was too hot to touch. Guidance would say lay down, lay still, don't move, don't think. Thought goes through your head, send it back to source. Don't move a finger. Even if we would move a finger or allow thought into his awareness, it was like oh this is so hot because it's light, pure light, and that's what the fifth gene key is. The fifth gene key is all about the light inside the DNA, the light inside of the body, accessing that light, understanding how it feels, the sensations, understanding how to transform into new operating systems. So that's what this is, and that is why the lymphatic breath is essential to know one's capacity to still the autonomic nervous system, to still the whole body. And that's why there's all the studies that have been done on ascended people and, oh my gosh, they don't have a heartbeat, can barely find their, their blood pressure and so on because coherence, simply coherence, they stilled the body enough. So there is no resistance. You know, electricity, ohms, and all of that. Resistance to the energy, which is what allows that cosmic energy to be redirected along the outer surface of wires that run through the walls. That's created through resistance. So what we are doing is about non-resistance to allow the cosmic energy to come in. And we've been placing a lot of videos of the dolphins in social media these miracle days to show how they move. How do they move so fast? The boat speeds up, they speed up. How do those little tiny babies stay up with the whole pod? Because they are one with the cosmic current, the cosmic wave, the channel that they are tuned into. 
So they are riding what our human eyes can't see, which is a cosmic current in a cosmic way because they're tuned into that station. So once we understand how to access the cosmic energy, we can attune to certain stations, certain cosmic waves. Pleiades for blueberry spirulino popcorn? Sure, let's do it. This is a step by meticulous step process to assist our human family to find the articulation and the mechanics for the shortcut way. If this love stream is inspiring, please share it. That's called gifting. There are so many links in this description box. We invite we to read through everything in the description box. There's links for Rob Williams and Bruce Lipton, Aligning with Nature, Psyche. There's links on some of the recent videos we've posted and posts we've posted. There's links to join the Unity Transmissions YouTube page, the Spreaker, which is the podcast page. Please like and subscribe if you're inspired to the Unity Transmissions YouTube page. Join the Instagram page, Unity Grace Bliss. We also have an Instagram page called Dolphins Inform. We love we, we thank we, we dance with we, we celebrate with we, we sing with we, the Miracle Jubilee. So much love.